Welcome to Smarterbase's purpose-built solution for professional football clubs. In this video, we'll show you how a multidiscipline performance staff uses Smarterbase on a typical training day. For many football clubs, a typical training day starts with athletes completing a short subjective questionnaire on the Smarterbase mobile app to give the performance staff an understanding of their readiness. The surveys are completely configurable. From there, two things commonly happen in most clubs. Performance staff have their morning meeting, or on certain days, players complete their neuromuscular or musculoskeletal screening. The readiness report aggregates data from different sources and presents it in a consolidated view, allowing you to easily assess players' readiness and their relative risk of injury. The first column shows the current medical status for all players. This will typically be set by the team's doctors or physios. The readiness profile shows data from the wellness questionnaire entered by athletes, the results of the most recent screenings, and the current acute chronic values for each player. Flags for wellness and screening data are calculated using individualized Z-scores, meaning that if a player's score is outside their normal range, it will result in a flag. Acute chronic flags for key GPS metrics are calculated using the standard thresholds, both the calculation and the thresholds can be customized by you. The number of flags a player has is then summed in the final column to help you assess a player's relative risk of injury. This column can quickly be sorted to show the players with the highest relative risk first. We can then click to the Availability dashboard, which gives a breakdown of each player's current medical status and training or performance status for today's training session. The medical status, as mentioned, is typically controlled by medical staff, but the training or performance status can be updated to reflect the discussions you've had as a staff. For example, there may be a player that is clear to play on a medical basis, but based on their readiness profile, you feel an intervention is needed, or perhaps their load needs to be decreased today. You can update a status by going into the availability record and updating it as required. Let's look at Alex Robinson, he has five risk flags. We can easily dive into his record to update his availability status to modified. He will then appear in the modified category on the availability dashboard. At any point, if you want to dive deeper into a specific player's data, you can click on the individual trends tab to do so. This will give you a more in-depth view of an individual and help you identify any trends or patterns. Following a training session, GPS data is automatically pushed into Smarterbase. Players may also enter their RPE for the session on the Smarterbase mobile app, on their phone or on tablets conveniently placed near the dressing room. The session report dashboard is designed to give you a high-level overview of the session that was just completed. You can see the squad average for key metrics at the top of the dashboard for today's session and how it compares to average match values and training values of the same match day code. This gives you quick feedback on how today's training compares to similar training days from the past. In this example, you can see that players covered, on average, 90% of the distance they typically do on a match day minus two. Below is a breakdown for each player that, with the use of dynamic elements of the dashboard like sorting and filtering, you can aggregate as needed. For instance, if you wanted to see who covered the most high-speed running meters, you can sort the column. You can also filter by a positional group, such as centre midfielders. There are also leaderboard charts for the squad, looking at key GPS metrics and how each player compares to the squad average. We can see examples here for total distance, high-speed running, sprint meters, accelerations, decels, and meters per minute. We can also see the max velocity a player achieved during a training session and how that compares to their all-time max. The printable report canvas allows you to quickly generate a report that can be printed or saved as PDF and shared with coaches and other members of staff. Certain members of staff, like sports scientists, will likely want to dig deeper into the load data and can use the load management dashboard to do so. The load management dashboard starts with a squad overview, allowing you to quickly identify any spikes or decreases in load for the squad, showing acute chronic values for key GPS metrics. Below are charts showing load in an acute time frame, like intensive and extensive load over the past seven days. 
and match minutes in the past five games. The Season Overview section looks across the season to help you understand the overall load players have experienced, how it compares to match values, and if any patterns or trends are occurring. The Individual Load tab breaks down this data by player. Using the filter at the top to select a player, you can see if they have any flags which can be configured to meet your KPIs. For example, we have a count of velocity exposures over 90% max velocity in the last seven days. It will show green if they do have an exposure over 90% and red if not. At the bottom of this dashboard, we have a load aggregator where you can select a specific time frame to investigate the external load experience by a player. The tiles below show the aggregated value, typically the sum of a given metric but in some cases, a mean value or a max. Finally, the weekly analysis dashboard allows sports scientists to analyze a weekly block of training. Here, we compare a player's load of a given training session to their game reference values, which is the average of the last five games played. We can see the proportion of the game reference value they completed in a given training session and how this compares across the weekly block. Again, this can be configured to your specific models. The first chart shows squad averages, meaning that, for example, on match day minus four, the squad completed on average 0.7 of the total distance they cover in a typical match. Below, you can filter for a specific athlete to see their aggregated weekly sum, including and excluding the match day from that week. Aidan Thomas, for example, covered 3.1 times the distance he covers in a typical match for the week selected when including the match he played that week and 2.2 when not. We can also use this methodology looking across the weeks of the season and perform typical aggregations of key metrics across the season, such as total distance, high-speed running, excels, and decels. That wraps this video looking at the day in the life of performance staff using Smarterbase at their football club. For more information and examples of how Smarterbase has helped professional football clubs, visit smarterbase.com.